Hello, everyone. First of all, uh, good to be here. So uh, we here all gathered for a very important matter that is changing the world, right? Otherwise, we couldn't fly here from all uh, parts of the world. And I'd like to thank you for your attention in advance. And uh, let me show you what I'm building. So uh, the purpose of ASPIS is removing the need in chain of corrupted middlemen from the financial system. And, but before moving into the problem that we're solving, uh, let's talk about why. Uh, in traditional financial markets with its development, uh, there is a new uh, and uh, ongoing profession of professional money managers. And uh, it's like a good way because they're sitting 24 hours, seven days a week and managing the assets, reading all the information. They have a uh, professional background and they have a lot of knowledge. And uh, in DeFi, with its development, with its uh, impermanent losses and introduction of a lot of different mechanisms, it's become quite a, kind of important to have a tool for a newcomers, for non-professionals to trust their funds to someone. Uh, who is knowledgeable, who is professional, and who is able to do that, but with solving the principal in agent puzzle and basically with uh, having more uh, dedicated uh, approach to it. So, but there is also the problem uh, when there is coming, uh, when we talk about the financial relationship, there is always trust required and there is trust layer. A current trust layer consists of banksters, the lawyers, uh, the uh, custodies and etc. It works, but we can do it better, right? And that's why we're here. So instead of punishing uh, the bad actor uh, after he already made the fraud and bought himself a Lamborghini, why not to prevent the fraud in the first place? And here we go uh, with ASPIS. ASPIS is basically a set of smart contracts that uh, interchange and, change and replace the conventional traditional funds. So instead of uh, having the paper legal, uh, we can prevent the fraud in the first place with its affordable setup, uh, automation, and one source of truth, like similar to the uh, general laws of physics, when the code is the only law, it makes sense to interact with it. I'll show you in a couple of minutes that it takes only a couple of minutes to deploy your own fund and interact with them. Uh, it's available in 24 hours, seven days in a week and uh, most of integration are automated. So how does it work? So uh, basically the manager goes to the ASPIS finance, uh, he fills out the form and creates, deploys the on-chain fund. This on-chain fund has the same characteristic as general fund with its rules for capital onboarding, offboarding, commission structure, and the limitations. Uh, we prevent both, we try to balance the interest between the manager and investor in a way that uh, both of them are happy and it's very important. So a manager deploys the vault by filling the form uh, for creation of on-chain agreement, then investor deposit funds into this vault, uh, seeing all the rules inside, and he's getting back the LP tokens in return. After that, manager tries, uh, a manager doing the swaps and trading on decentralized exchanges and different protocols. And after that, investor is able to withdraw his funds and all the commissions, all the uh, rules are guaranteed by the code. So that means that manager is not able to take away the investor's fund without his extent. And investor and manager is getting his commission for the fund management. Uh, we have very simple U UI interface I'll show you in a minute. Uh, and let's go to the demo. Can you open the video, please? Uh, let's create a fund. Uh, it will be less than three minutes. So, we'll, for example, we're the trader join. We want to uh, raise funds from general public. So we're creating the vault. Uh, we creating the... Uh, LP agreement by specifying the fundraising parameters, then uh, deposit parameters, choosing the currency we want to be deposited and uh, the base currency for profit calculation, as well as we can uh, allow list wallets who is able to deposit so we can do KYC, for example, or restrict only to private individuals. Uh, we also can set up the lockup period, uh, specify the capital onboarding, specify the 
uh, withdrawal windows. For example, for this particular case, investors will be able to get off uh, the investment fund each first three days of each quarter. If they will do in free period, they will pay a fine of 5%. Uh, there is also flexible commission structure with entrance fee, fund management fee, and performance fee. Uh, performance fee is taking uh, on the investor's uh, withdrawal. And uh, there is quorum minimum approval and voting duration to change the rules of the investment fund as well as adding more protocols and assets and uh, wallets who is able to deposit. Uh, right now, there is only possible way to do by uh, the investment decision by investment manager, uh, but we can also set up to, uh, the ability to change the investment manager to make the community fund. Here we're choosing the platforms that uh, the manager is able to use. Uh, and during the fundraising phase and after fundraising phase, specifying the first uh, price of LP token, and here we go. We created a fund. Uh, right now, it took some time to finalize. We don't use any front backend. We sync the data directly using the graph from the uh, chain. And here we can see uh, all the rules through the one pager of this investment fund. Uh, and if we like it, we can sign the on-chain agreement and join the fund. So here we go. So we've made uh, a deposit. And get back the LP token that we will be able to burn to get back funds. Here, the manager is able to do a transaction. There are two ways of uh, managing the funds. One is through the front end of uh, the protocol using the Wallet Connect. The second one is through the uh, API or other services that uh, are able to connect to our smart contract for the funds management. We're also adding algo trading options, but I'll talk about it uh, on the last slide. So here, we need to approve the transaction. Um, for this particular uh, transaction, we swapped, uh, for example, BNB for on Pancake Swap but uh, there are other options as possible, as well as with development of DAXs, perpetuals are coming, as well as limit orders are introduced by a lot of DAXs, so there are a lot of interesting opportunities for management of the capital. Also, uh, another difference with other protocols is that we're uh, pretty flexible in terms of changing the terms uh, of the funds, so instead of deploying each time the new fund when something changes, you can change the rules by uh, voting. So for this particular case, the manager wants to add entrance fee, for example. He created the proposal. He cannot do it only by himself, but he will need his LPs to vote for it. So here we will make the vote for it. And uh, we will be able to execute uh, these proposals once the data will be synced. So uh, the changes will take into the force. Here it calls the uh, execute. And here it is. Can you go back to the presentation? So yeah, so um, regarding our, mm, okay, so it seems that it doesn't work, so. Yeah, so regarding our next step, uh, the first one is that we partnered with Trading Strategy for integration of algorithmic trading. Uh, um, and uh, next, uh, we will also be able to uh, be very useful when the real world assets will come. So traders will have more options in terms of assets available for the trading. And uh, I think the last step that will help us to all get on top of the mountain will be like autonomous AI, which will be managing our assets 24 hours, seven days a week without us like making any uh, major decision, fully autonomous, taking into consideration all the possible data in the world, re reducing the asymmetry of the information between the experienced manager and regular people. Uh, we also need your help to move forward. Uh, Happy to be in touch and thank you very much for your attention.